Hey team, we're going to tackle Excel chapter two this week. And um, I'd like you to look, it says open the file exploring EO2 grader. When you do that, it has a default name of students. I suggest you save the file again using your last name in replace of that student. Then you'll know exactly which file to upload for grading. And as you can see, the last name has been changed. We've done number one. Number two, insert a lookup function in cell C5, okay, to display the annual membership for the first client. This needs a little conversation. First, we're going to find cell C5. So our goal here is to figure out the annual membership cost for the client Andrews. Now we do need to look, there's several different types of memberships. There's deluxe, individual, and family. And all that information comes from a table down here below and sells A18 to C20. What the VLOOKUP table will do is look up information in more than one column. It will determine if Andrews which type of membership it has, and then due to that membership, what the cost is. So now we're going to walk through doing a VLOOKUP formula. Go to your fifth tab. Under tabs, there's all sorts of already worked out formulas for you. And we'll get a function argument box when we choose that will help us do the formula. You can also start your own formula by typing in the cell with an equals and put in the rest of the information. But the beauty of the formula argument box is it helps you step through the components of the formula. So we're going to use the lookup and reference icon and we're going to go all the way to the bottom to a VLOOKUP formula. Now, do notice up here in the top, right here in the function formula bar right there, Excel has already placed an equal sign telling Excel that we're going to be doing a math problem, but it also puts VLOOKUP telling you what type of formula it is with parentheses opening and closing. And now we're going to fill in the values. What is our lookup value for this function? Well, our lookup value is what type of membership? Is it a deluxe, an individual, or family? And the problem asks us to do it for the first client. So we will eventually copy our formula down column C. But right now we're just trying to figure out Andrews, the client, and his deluxe membership and the cost. And we know by looking down here below, it should be about $575 for deluxe membership. But let's see what else we find out. Now the next component we have to use is a table array. It's asking us, VLOOKUPs for looking in various tables, so we're going to tell it to look in table the membership table, which would be cell A18 to all the way to cell C20. Now, the next thing it asks us for is a column index number. So in our table array of cell A18 to C20, which column do we want the lookup cost of the membership to be from? The first column, number one, would be the membership type. But we're looking for column cost, so that would actually be column two. Later on, we'll do a formula where we'll refer to column three with the down payment. So we're going to put a two here under column index number. But before we go on, this VLOOKUP function has to pull its information from the table A18 to C20. To make sure that we have an absolute reference to those cells, we're going to highlight cell A18 and hit our F4 key. When we do that, it wraps a dollar sign around the column and the row. We're going to do the same thing around C20. We're going to highlight it. Click F4, and that tells us that we need an absolute value from cells A18 to, to cell C20, and don't go below beside, okay? Don't keep going. So Excel now knows just to gather its information from that table array. And if we get a value of 575, we did it correct. Let's look. Well done.